Greetings, everyone. A while back, I was really caught up on, on performance for my website and spent a lot of time looking through Google Page Speed Insights tools as well as GT Metrics to help increase or improve the performance of my website. Had everything working really well back at that point, but recently I upgraded the theme for my my personal blog and it seemed to break a lot of the performance issues that I had recently implemented. So today we're going to take a look at updating some things within my personal blog to get the performance back to where we want to be. So let's take a quick look at performance without auto optimize turned on. And the score is not bad, 73 mobile, 91 for the desktop. Very interesting. Uh, I don't think we're going to improve things that much with auto optimize, but what this will show you is how we can get rid of most of the problems here with this elim eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS above the fold. It, as you can see here, I've got four JavaScript files that are, are render blocking as well as two, four, six CSS files. Uh, not going to be able to do anything with the Google Fonts one here. Um, the other ones I should be able to take care of with the exception of probably the jQuery, jQuery, jQuery files since I seem to have some problems with that. Um, so let's go to my WordPress blog and this is the auto optimize settings page and what we're going to do is turn on optimize HTML optimize JavaScript and optimize CSS and you'll see I also have this inline defer CSS for above the fold content actually let me shut that off so I can show you what the difference is when we turn that back on and I think that's what I'm going to do. Save settings, empty cache. And for kicks, let's purge all caches in W3 total cache. All right, sweet. Let's go back to page speed insights. There is no way I'm going to get any better with 91 out of 100. That is crazy to me. So remember, I, I turned off this option of inline and defer CSS. So let's see what this gives us here. We should see our scores. I'm not sure what we're going to see since I turned auto optimize on. 73.86 went down. And what we should see here is a drastic reduction in the number of files that are under blocking. So we've removed all the JavaScript files except the jQuery one, which I cannot for the life of me get rid of. And we've reduced our six CSS files down to two here. And what we can do is with this one, I think we can probably get rid of this file so it's not render blocking as well. And the way we'll do that is with auto optimize this inline and defer CSS. And I'm going to show you how we go about doing that. I opened an incognito window here so I could bring up my blog and I'm at the home page here. And one of the things that I want to show you, let me do a hard refresh just for kicks here. And if I go into developer tool, view source, one of the things you are going to see here that op auto optimize did is it created a consolidated CSS file that is referenced here at the top of my source. And if I go into this, you will see it just all smooshed together in a minified mode. 
So what we are going to do is figure out what CSS in this file needs to be loaded for the above the fold content. We'll load that inline and then defer the rest of the loading until after the page is rendered. So how do we go about doing that? Well, there is a tool that we can use to figure out what the critical path CSS is that we will list here in this section. I've already got it listed here, but I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. So if you go into this critical path tool, and I'll leave the URL here at uh, the bottom of the page, what you want to do, let me just clear all this out so I can show you how to set this up. You want to add the URL you want to analyze, and then you want to add the full CSS from the minified file that we want the tool to analyze for us. So let's go back to our source and click on that file again. And what we want to do is we want to copy the contents of that entire CSS file And let's copy that. We don't need this anymore, don't need this anymore. Let's go back to the tool. And you want to paste that CSS right here. And then what we'll do is analyze that file. And what it's told us now is after analysis, it's determined what the CSS is that needs to be loaded for the above the fold content. And as you can see here, the total minified file was over 115,000 characters. The critical path CSS that needs to be loaded is only 7,500 characters. So quite a reduction. So what you want to do here is if we select all of this, do a copy of it, go back to our WordPress blog with the within the auto optimize settings. I'm going to repaste this and save it and empty my auto optimize cache. And again, I am going to purge all my W3 total caches. And let's go back to my incognito window here. Let's do a refresh. And hopefully we didn't break anything. Looks good. Let me go back into post here let me just take a quick look looks good all right comments look good all right let's go back to the home page here I'm gonna go back into the source and what you'll see now is the CSS that is loaded for the above the fold content is now in line within my HTML and if I go down to the bottom of the page here, what we should see is the CSS right here. There's my old CSS file. It is now being deferred to the bottom of, bottom of the page. So that should get rid of the on render blocking CSS file that we were having before. So let us go back to Google Page Speed Insights. And remember, this is the file that was render blocking before. And hopefully we will get rid of that. So let's do another analysis on the home page. 
7385. Um, scroll down here and it did get rid of it. So the only two files that are, are still render blocking is my jQuery file for JavaScript and my one dash icons minim, minified CSS file. And what you'll see here, if I go into auto optimize, that file is being excluded from optimization because if what that file is, is it's for some of these icons here within your WordPress uh, dashboard, which really have no impact to page speed load for an end user. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. And that is how you can get rid of some of this ren these render blocking files for the above the fold content. So we've reduced the six CSS files down to one. And what did we have here? Two or three uh, JavaScript files. It, it didn't seem like it had a huge impact on, on my performance, but I mean, in your case, it, it very well may. So that is how you can get rid of some of these uh, performance impacts for your, your site.